Hello, this is Ron Paul with your weekly update for Monday, October 11th. The Great Southwest Airlines Rebellion. The incredible cruelty and folly of forced vaccines finally came home to roost. The vaccine mandate backlash has been bubbling just under the surface, but now it has spilled out into the open, threatening and completely derail any attempt of crumbling the economy to obliterate a deeply unpopular U.S. president and administration. Seemingly, though, out of nowhere, what appears to be a Southwest Airlines rebellion has taken flight from this weekend. According to media reports, scores of pilots and other Southwest employees have coordinated the taking of sick days to use them up in advance of a Southwest Airlines mandate to get the jab or lose their jobs. Over Saturday and Sunday, more than 2,000 flights have been canceled, with airports experiencing full-on mayhem. The Southwest Airlines Pilot Association is suing the airlines over the imposed vaccine mandate, bolstering the claim that there is a sick-out underway among angry Southwest pilots. The mainstream media is doing its best to keep a lid on the expanding rebellion against the vaccine mandates, and Southwest Airlines itself is blaming the cancellations on bad weather and a lack of air traffic controllers. However, the weather problems that Southwest claims to be experiencing seems unique to that carrier. No other airlines thus far is reporting such weather-related cancellations. And FAA spokesman Steve Cohn told USA Today that no FFA air traffic staffing shortages have been reported since Friday. Will other pilots such as at, at American Airlines follow suit? Rumors are circling that this is only the beginning. Over the past few weeks, thousands of nurses, medical workers, and first responders have either quit or been fired for refusing to receive a medical treatment they do not want or need. The nursing shortage that the Democratic politicians and the mainstream media had been blaming on rising COVID cases has been in reality a man-made disaster of historic proportions. The nursing crisis is not caused by COVID cases having been in decline in the U.S. for weeks. It is caused by the firing of medical personnel who refuse to take the experimental COVID shots. History may be recorded this weekend as the turning point against Biden administration. COVID tyranny. From nurses to pilots to truckers to even Amtrak workers, it appears that America is standing up and saying, enough. Every one of our fellow citizens standing up on principle to oppose tyranny, facing the loss of their jobs and security, is owed a debt of gratitude for all who love liberty. Let's hope that this peaceful rebellion continues to grow. Thanks for listening.